Okay, I'm back now. I'm sorry, that was my brother-in-law. He was... Um, folks, let me tell you something. When I do a video, I don't edit my videos. I want you to feel like you're sitting here with somebody carving and, and talking and things like that. And if somebody comes in or something like that, I just... I just leave it in, you know, because that's what happens in life. You know, when we want to be perfect in life and, and everything go great, then go to somebody else, but don't come to me. And if you don't want to watch my videos because something like this may happen and, and whatever, then, and, and to be honest with you, I don't know how to edit most of this stuff, and I'm not really concerned about that. I've, I've always been live and, if, and and there's been other videos where people have interrupted me or something like that But he couldn't get the washer to work. Now here, here's a good thing. It's a Whirlpool washer and dryer I bought and uh, bought it at Lowe's and uh, So what it is the button on the washer if you press it in too long It will it will hold or it'll it'll stay in and won't start your clothes washing. And that's what happened with him. You just have to kind of tap the button to get it to, to washing and release it real quick. So those are the little things you find. <laughs> and he was, he went to put them in the dryer and and uh, they didn't, they weren't even washed. So anyway, that's the way things are. That's what happens with whatever but anyway that's that was the interruption right there and you might hear the washer a little bit as it's going and stuff but i'm in my garage and i like to carve in my garage and one of the reasons i like that is because natural sunlight i can see so much better oh gosh i can see a hundred percent better with natural sunlight and as i told you i'm not gonna put a i'm gonna go ahead and put a uh pants on him here so let me put that in between there so if you hear if you hear the washer a little bit don't 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 get all upset that's we're not gonna make it but um, anyway yeah there are different things that we talk about and discuss and and uh, like I said I'm live folks so you know if it if it bothers you if you think well I remember a guy wrote me one time and said you know you just you're just not very professional and I thought I told him I said well thank you you know <laughs> I don't I don't worry about being professional um, listen I remember the good old days when a couple of guys sat together and whittled and talked and just discussed everything in the world and I want you to feel like that's the way we're doing right here. We're just kind of talking and and whittling and and doing a little scene and stuff like that and if there's a little noise or something like that, it's okay. It's all right with us. In other words, it it's not the end of the world. Now on the pants, what I want to do is I want to just kind of kind of come up like this across here, and just just uh, um, and I'm gonna come below there, so so we have the pants here, and then I'm gonna come from here and old men they wear their pants a little higher than what normal people do so uh, we're gonna kind of do that little number right there just sort of like that <laughs> yeah um, we there is nothing more luscious than luscious. I don't know where I came up with that word from. There's nothing more fun than to sit with somebody and talk 
and and I know a lot of people they don't they don't like that they don't remember the good old days they don't remember the good old days when we had front porches and we sit on the porch and we talk and we some people and, and I guess like I said cell phones you see see how I did the just did the pants in other words uh, cell phones have destroyed a lot of that that purpose and, and, and what people having the enjoyment of communication in life and um, talking about the things and I, I tell you it's it's ruined a lot of people and and I think it I think now I don't know how you think about it but I think people are very people are very more unfriendly today because they haven't learned to be friendly. Now that may sound kind of crazy to a lot of people, but and what I'm discussing or what I'm saying is that a lot of people, they don't know how to be friendly because they've never, they've never had to learn to be. In other words, being patient with other people and and you, you you've seen people in in, uh, in uh, airports and stuff like that because they're not patient with anyone. And and we all realize that a lot of that is due to the fact that people don't communicate with one another. So if you grow up never communicating with anyone, then you never learn how to communicate. It's, it's, this is one of the reasons, now, please don't misunderstand what I'm saying here, okay? I, I'm not, even though I hate many of these schools and what they teach, homeschooling, I have an issue with homeschooling. Because when children do not have a chance to interact with other children, and they're just by themselves, and I understand a lot of people... They, they're in schools, and I'm not against homeschooling folks. I believe it's an important factor. But I think because if kids cannot interact with other children and go through the, the trials and the tribulations of, of, of dealing with them, uh, then, you know, I feel that they're going to have a real issue in the world around them. Now, that's just me, okay? I'm not... Uh, I'm not an expert, I'm not this, I'm not that, but I just feel that, that we need that interaction. And how many people do you sit? I, I've, I've told you, at one time they, people had front porches and people sat on front porches and waved at cars that came by and, and talked and, and had neighbors that came over and they sat and talked and stuff. But people do not do that anymore. And because of that, I really believe that we have a problem with uh, with people learning or knowing how to communicate with other people. And that's why people don't have good communication skills uh, because they don't know how to... Listen, let me ask you something. How many of you have been talking to someone and they'll start a conversation about something that really you don't really want to talk about I'm talking about you know something you're not really interested in but yet you go ahead and listen just to be kind just to be kind and 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 you know agree with them and things like that see that that's what that's what brings about communication it's skill it's a skill folks it isn't just a, a see so many people look at communication where two for instance they see a couple old guys like me and another guy sitting there talking, and they're going, what a waste of time. What a waste of resources. They could be out uh, 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 doing something else uh, than just sitting there wasting that time. And they look at people who are sitting down and just relaxing and talking to one another. They look at that, the world looks at that as people who are wasting their time. When in reality, it's actually people who are understanding and, and learning to communicate with one another. 
But a lot of people do not look at communication as a big thing today because we have texting and we have cell phones. And that's one of the reasons why. Listen, there are people that live 20 years next door to a neighbor that they've never even spoken to or they don't talk to. Maybe they haven't spoken, but maybe once or twice, maybe it was just to tell them, hey, you know, your, your, your dog's barking too loud or something. This is why people do not have communication skills at all. And, you know, um, you can't get that from, and people go, well, I go to parties and I go to things like that and we talk and, and, and we drinking and talking, but it's not the same thing. Because in parties and things like that, there's always something going on. There's never that one-to-one -one communication that, that people have with one another and can enjoy just listening. Um, there was a movie many, many years ago called My Dinner with Andre. Even though I didn't really care for the movie all that much, uh, it was about a man who... Um, who was dreading going to a dinner with this other man who he hadn't seen in, in a long time. And this other guy had traveled a lot and stuff. And when he got there, he found out what a joyous time he had listening to this man talk about his trips and stuff like that. And basically, it was about communication. It was about two people sitting down and talking about different things. It, whether if it's talking about something you know about or you don't know about or whatever. Uh, the art of communication is a, is a very, very powerful thing. And people today do not know how to talk to one another. And I think that's one of the reasons why. And, and usually, you can get it with more than one person but usually, I mean, I'm talking about two, more than two people, but usually when it's between two particular people sitting down and talking, there, you can have three, but if you have too many, then you've got too many people uh, discussing things. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the nose here. Got right in here. So I don't mean to harp on this or anything like that, but I think even though with technology has come great things, we have still lost a lot of things that were very vital to society. And people have a real hard time, especially young people, communicating with other people because they feel that if, if you're talking about something I don't really not interested in, then I don't have to listen to you, or I don't want to talk to you. You, you have to learn something which is called patience, and learn that, uh, uh, that you know, even though you, the person may be talking about something you're not necessarily interested in, you be kind enough to listen, and you might learn something. You might be surprised what you can learn from other people. You really can. Even though it's not necessarily what you want to hear. And, and we've lost that art of, of communicating along with a lot of people. Really have. Okay. Get our nose on there. And I got off the hormone thing, and <laughs> but we do, we we do know that. Um, and I was talking about the chickens. We do understand and know that that used to, if you watch chickens grow up, that they did not grow up as quick as they do today, and that's because they feed them hormones. And then we eat the the chickens, or we eat the the cows, or we eat the things. 
and and those hormones get in our bodies they really do now can they cause diseases sure they can I'm not saying I, but I don't I, I haven't really read the proof of if they can cause any bad diseases upon us or whatever so all right look at that we we're getting him him that way okay um but I don't take a lot of things out that are alive because that is what real life is like. And, and unfortunately, we don't, a lot of us don't want real life. We, we won't fake because TV and all that other stuff provides us with all those things. Not that TV is a horrible thing or, it's, you know, but we just don't, and like I said, that has a lot to do with communication too. We get our, if we get all of our communication from sitting in the TV, who 90% of the time is lying to us, um, then we don't really learn anything. I, um, there's an interaction, and maybe that's why a lot of young people today don't have any communication skills, so they don't learn anything like that and they get out into the world and now once again what well, what what is one of the things that that you know marriages are failing desperately and all that stuff but what is one of the things that that women talk about one of the worst things her husband has and that's that's that the husbands cannot communicate with them of course i'm not saying that that is that is the you know, thing, but I'm saying that there is a communication problem today where people don't know how to talk to one another or, or share with one another how to do particular things. And that's, that's one of the purposes of it. When I sit down and um, I found out when uh, interaction with people is a very difficult thing. One of, the, one of the things that people are scared of the most is speaking in front of people. Maybe that's the, there's a great fear that people have of speaking in front of others. And uh, I've never had that problem. Of course you say, well, I, you, you talk too much as it is already. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do. I shouldn't. And a lot of people don't like videos, uh, carving videos where people talk. And that's why I say these, these videos are not for you if you just want to hear somebody uh, uh, but a lot of people like them and I, a lot of people say they do because of the fact that I sit in and talk about things and I mean it's like and like I said I, I've always wanted to get to the point to where I'm like you're sitting down and we're whittling together and um, is that for all people of course not and a lot of it is because we have, we are such a society of people who are on the fast track to life that we have a real hard time. And, and maybe it's, it's a way of avoiding communication. Maybe we just don't want to communicate with people. We feel, and communication we feel is a waste of time today talking to people but let me let me just say this to all you young people out there it is a sad day whenever we lose the art of communication it's a very sad day and this is why that many older people are in nursing homes and their kids never come see them and things like that 
because they go, well, you know, I don't want to go talk to Uncle so-and-so because he's boring. He's not exciting for me to talk to. and He's not exciting for me to do. And because of that, many old older people are in nursing homes and no one comes to see them or family doesn't come to see them because they don't want to waste their time. They feel that's a waste of their time having to communicate with someone that uh, um, they don't have to. So l let me just, you know, I, I, I don't want to be coy and say that is the whole thing, but I think most people do know that we do have a problem with, with, uh, with young people today and with young people trying to communicate um, uh, with, with young people and, uh, and, and around. So, but the different eras that we came from. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go from, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a, go from the back back here A lot of people today feel that if you don't talk about what I want to talk about, then I don't want to even be around you. And because of that, uh, my father, when he was very sick, he was ill. Uh, you know, a lot of people know my father went through the war as a prisoner of war for four years in Japan. And when he was ill, I used to just go over there and, and I would sit with him. We wouldn't say much in between one another, but I knew that he was ill. I know that he didn't feel good. And uh, we would just talk. And I learned more from my father and a lot of things, you know, whenever he didn't want to talk, I didn't speak. And when he did want to talk, well, you know, I talked to him, and, and it was a joy being with my father. It was a joy uh, because he would say some things that were really wise because he was coming to the end of his life, and uh, he knew it. And he would try to tell me things that... that uh, and used to, they, people did that. Young people listened to older people. They talked to them, they, they communicated with them, and they learned from them. But because 